more work gets done in the last week in Albany than, the, than two months before of session. So I'm happy that the governor is pushing all over. Uh, I look forward to working with him, and we have. Uh, you know, I was very disappointed uh, during the budget time, as you know, first time in my 33 years, I voted against the entire budget to make a statement because I was so disappointed that uh, 400,000 children who uh, deserve education like everybody else were left out of the budget. So now there's a new push underway, which will be, which this, the, the proposal by the governor uh, is great. Uh, the idea of giving uh, uh, credit, in addition to that, having scholarships, uh, we hope to God that with God's help and with the governor's leadership, what he said a few days before the election, he came and he said, it's about justice. It's not about a handout. It's not about just giving something to a particular community. It's about what's right. It's about justice. And that's really what it's all about. I have no doubt that if the governor shows the leadership, which he is, and we, obviously we got a lot of work to do in the assembly, the UFT, United Federation of Teachers, they are out to kill this and make sure this does not happen. So with God's help, we have a lot of time, we have a little time, but also a lot of time to make sure that something like this, which is so fair, it really is justice. Why should students all over the state of New York, why do we care about students, which we do, but we leave out a segment. We leave out close to 20% of our students go to parochial and private schools. So there's no issue of uh, this being constitutional. It is constitutional. So with God's help, we are determined to make this happen. We're going to work until it does with God's help. And so that's the story. Should New Yorkers feel that Albany is turning a page? Or? It's not a question of turning a page. A lot of things in Albany, we could talk about many things that were very important to our community that took 10 years, 12 years, and once it happened, it became history, such as transportation and TAP and special education. Those were the, those were the major issues over the past couple of years. Now the focus is on this. There's one thing right now that is absolutely crucial to me and to all of our communities. How often is the Jewish community so united, from Hasidic to you name it, every kind of Jewish community. And by the way, this is also for, non, for the non-Jewish community. And by the way, public school uh, children will be helped by this legislation as well. Uh, teachers who teach in public school. So this is pure justice. There's a actual tax credit. If I pay taxes, I have four children that are going to school and I'm making 60000 or less, and that needs to be adjusted, I can claim $500 tax credit automatically. You don't have to go to the school, you don't have to deal with the school, you get a tax credit right off the bat. That's already money in your pocket, number one. Number two, the same families that are getting the tax credit can also apply for the scholarship. So there are two hits, there are two possibilities for families. And I want to point out something very important. This will not solve people's problem as far as tuition. But this will this be opening up the door to make a difference to be helpful? The answer is yes.